Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to Comstead Farm. This is episode number 19. Today, we're going to be finishing up a massive harvesting contract by picking up all the bells that we plan to st uh, collect. We also need to start working on year three grass harvest as well. So, if you steal things from other farmers, of course, in game. Or if you just want to see more Farm Sim 22 in general, make sure you subscribe. That way you never miss whatever's going to be next. So this job wouldn't be so bad if we only had, well, you know, these few bells around us. But unfortunately, there's, well, I don't know how to say this. <laughs> there's too many. I made too many bells. We got way too many. So we're going to be using the brand new JCB, uh, JCB 450. I should really go in and change those names up a little bit. What I've done is I've taken the JCB mod that I used early on in the Farming Simulator 22 lifespan, and I have modified it slightly to use the engine setups uh, from that one, and then crossed it with the designs of the one that we just got from Schnibble Monty, which by the way, you should definitely go download to check out because he did a fantastic job. And through that, I've now got 450 horsepower in here, and it'll go nice and quick at about 54 miles an hour, which is perfect. So we've got uh, the best of all worlds. I have a high horsepower tractor, a fast tractor, and it will do just about whatever I want it to do. The only thing is, in Farming Simulator 22, tractor weights are everything, and this thing doesn't weigh a thing. So it's not going to be able to do all the jobs that we want it to do, but it'll do most of the jobs that we want it to do. And that will round out our four tractor setup. I limit myself to four tractors. If you may know that, you may not. In Farming Simulator 19 from gameplay there, what little bit I did, and I do apologize for the very, very few amount of Let's Plays on that game. We're back, and we're better than ever. We've got some good stuff planned for you guys on this series as well. Now, eventually, this series will come to an end, but I don't know when that's going to be, and you probably don't either. So, if there's another map that comes out, maybe something exciting you guys want to see me or my take on that map, please, please, look, ooh, get it, get it, get it. Ah, if you guys have any other maps that you want to see me play on or you want to see me tackle, definitely let me know what those are in the comment section below, and we will get to them. One thing. All maps have to be off the platform, so even if I modify the heck out of the silos and the cows and the sheep and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, still has to be for all platforms. So stack number one, where are we going to be putting these and how are we going to do them? Well, before I put them to the left right here, and I just don't think that's a great idea, especially for bells that are going to be sitting here. Well, it's March currently, and these bells are going to sit here until December. So, best thing to do is going to be to place them. But I think I'm going to place them to the right this time instead of the left. I think putting them over here might make a little bit more sense. That, uh... <clears throat> that didn't happen. You guys didn't see anything, right? Right. I can do this. We could, we could do this without causing trouble. Yeah, all right. So that's uh, one stack. <laughs> I don't want to do this. How many more do we have? After all said and done, quite a few minutes later. Been watching a lot of AR-12 gaming on YouTube. Don't tell him. I'm going to get in trouble. Oh, no, no, no. We're pulling it. Stop. Stop doing what I'm doing. I need to unload the bells before I start picking up anymore. This is a good spot right here. And boop, boop. Now, a lot of these are leaning over to the left. I tried to come in here and smooth this out as best I could, but unfortunately, I can't jump over them and I can't do anything about it. So, yeah, I tried to smooth this out as best I could. However, it does come right up to this little wall, and I want to make that look as normal and as right as possible. So, that is our storage for straw bells, at least for right now. That's, what, five and a half fish? Not too bad. Get out of here, birds. Let's move on. And the last thing that we need to do, at least for the contract, is deliver the goods. And I don't know which one I need to be going to. All right. Yep, yep, yep. So which one is that? <laughs> it's going to be this one. I'm going to go ahead and tag it just so I know exactly which one it is. Now, we are using our modified trailer, so this thing's going to dump out a little bit faster than I want it to. So what I'm going to have to do is go very, very slowly. Uh, and we're going to do this about 50% uh, of the time, halving it every time. So we've got a, what is that, 250,000 liters of canola in there right now. So what we need to do is sell 
about 125,000 liters of it. So we'll get that down to about 125. Doesn't dump crazy fast, but it's fast enough. Close enough. There we go. So we've got 51% transported for that mission. However, what is our mission status? If I can find the missions. Here we go. We're 91% completed. All right. So from here, we'll go at about 20,000 liter increments. We'll stop it about right there. So 58% transported. Not bad. 62. I think we need to get to, I think it's 75% transported, something like that. So because this dumps so quickly and we will be getting things that dump even faster than this, uh, especially for all platforms, we've got to be kind of careful. Oh, there's 74, 75%. 79%. Are we not done yet? <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like that uh, giants have changed things up a little bit on us. 83%. Really? Is it going to take all of this? There's no way. 91% completed. So we're almost there. Oh, come on. Is it? Oh, there we go. All right. So we at least got to save a little bit and we sold a little bit as well. Let's go and complete those contracts. We got a lot of money for the contract. Looking good there, looking good. So now we're up to 873. Way too much money than we actually need, but we're doing all right. Since we've got more tractors now, I think it's time that we get more mowers as well. I do really, really like these Pottinger mowers. And of course, I think I've had them delivered to this field down here. Sure enough, check that out. Yeah, let's... Let's go ahead and reset that point right there, and we'll go ahead and reset these as well. We had to spend a little extra cash on it, but that's okay. It should be right in front of us, and they are. Perfect. So this tractor right here is what I'm going to set on the worker, I believe. Uh, it should do just fine. Unfortunately, I don't know how to change up the driving style of this, but I'm sure the worker will figure it out even at like 54 miles an hour. So this is going to go to the big field and just get the work done. That's all it needs to do. I've gotten really good at driving the other tractor, so that's the one I'm going to drive. This one, we'll just let the dude do it himself. Because this tractor is a bit of a speedy boy, what I'm going to do is limit... Lower the stupid thing. Uh, I'm going to limit the mower to 31 miles an hour. I foresee some problems down the road and... I don't want any problems. Let's double check. Let's make sure our toggle working mode is set to... Oh, well, it doesn't tell me what it is, does it? Here we go. Widespread, nope, we want swath dropping. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. We'll go ahead and turn on the front mower. Be good to go. So now is going to come the uh, tedious process of running headlands around this field. Shouldn't take too long. It will be very, very, very simple it's still gonna take a hot minute so we'll go ahead and run i think i'm gonna do three headlands around this at least this time around so we'll see you when we're done with three yeah jk on second thought i want to use that jcb it's awesome and this thing's gonna work perfectly fine without me so we'll go ahead and set our cruise control just to the right speed we'll double check and make sure yep fast farming is enabled i've run our three headlands around this and we will hire the worker. I understand that the uh, rear mowers are in versus in the out position or extended position as most people would run them. I prefer to run them in this. I get a nice tighter swath and that's what I prefer. Ah, great. Hey, all right. Well, this is done at least. So that guy's doing his thing. Now we get to jump in here and do our thing. We've got about, I think it's four grass fields, maybe five grass fields over here. We've got three right here and then one. So we've got four. I should never be allowed to do math ever. One thing I noticed about using this is because it's zero turn or zero two, it's got all wheel steering. I'm able to take those corners at a much higher rate than I would normally. So instead of having to come through with a windrow later on, I well, I don't have to do that. This will just take the turn for me without having to worry too much. I love this. You can actually see into the field in here. We can find nice little sneaky spots into the secret field in the woods. Love that, man. Love that. We'll go ahead and drop everything down and get ready to do this. But I want to show you the benefits of using this mower 
if it will do what I want it to the first time. <laughs> we'll see. Usually when I take a turn like this, I have to come back through and windrow it together in order to pick it up. However, we take the turn kind of like that. The swath stays together. However, we do still miss a little bitty bit here and there. So th there is a trade-off. You do miss some. However, the swath stays with it. So, you know, hey, if that's what you're looking for, rock with it. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Again, we'll spin this. And again, the swath stays with itself. So I don't have to come through and do any windrowing with that. Straight on. I love that. That's awesome. All right. So, more fields to do. Shouldn't take too long, but it's going to take long enough. So, let's get to work. I'm almost done with this field now. And I want to tell you guys, this JCB, or really any zero-turn tractor, all-wheel steering tractor in game. Man, if you're doing mowing like I am, you have got to switch over. This has been so easy. So simple. Look at this. Boom. Back on it again. The other tractor I had to do a little little three point turn at the very end. This one, oh, shut up! I'm not care. Fall up! I don't care. Uh, it's been so simple to be able to just zoop, 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 zoom right back and forth. I probably cut off one or two minutes at least from this field from the time I did it before. Absolutely incredible. All right, so that's that. Now is going to come the rest of these. And for these, I'm just gonna mow. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm just gonna get the job done and move on. Speaking of moving on, I wonder how our uh, our other little buddy is moving along. Quickly, wow, zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> He's got a lot of this field done. So that's great. Let's get back to work see when this field's done. All right, so now everything is completed. All of the fields have been mown and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The thing is, picking it up with either this loading wagon right here or the other loading wagon that we've got is gonna take a while. It's, man, it's gonna take a while. So what I've done is I've picked something up and a lot of you guys would say, DJ, just buy it. No one cares, just get it. So I did, and I got it in dark green and like, I don't know, it's kind of military colors-ish. Uh, I thought it looked cool. So this figured, let's go with it. This is a 10 million liter capacity version. We can lower that down if we really need to, but I wanted to get something big. I wanted to get something awesome, and I wanted to get something that would give my largest tractor a little bit of a, well, not a problem, but it's going to take a hot minute. Also, this is not our largest tractor anymore, technically. It weighs the most, but that's about it. It's got the least, uh, second most horsepower now to the JCB, which has got a lot. But I'm still going to use this anyway. The JCB, I'm still unable to, like, turn it without all wheels st steering. So, whatever. I don't care. We'll just go with this instead. So, we've got a lot of grass. I did not think about this being green and the grass being green. Good job, DJ. <laughs> this is gonna be fun to figure out where everything is. Nonetheless, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this up and we'll have a good time doing it. Uh, one thing about all of this, I'm going to pick up this stuff and this grass from uh, the three fields over here nearest our farm. These are gonna be used for the silo. We're gonna put them in the silo and they'll be used to turn into hay or turn into silage, which by the way, if you guys would like to get your hands on um, similar mods, and maybe not the same ones, but similar ones that I'm using, uh, you can do that. They're available right now on the Mod Hub. I just came out recently. So check out my most recent mod video. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Got a mod that turns grass into hay and grass into chat or uh, silage. It's really cool. So definitely check that out. You want the mod. I've gone a step beyond what the mod does. <laughs> Maybe don't do things the way I do. I'm cheating a little bit, but that is what it is. Nonetheless, all right. Let's pick all this grass up, and then this grass will be sent over to the main silo, and then we'll have another one to pick up, which is going to be all going to the BGA. Dunzo, my man. Here's the first setup right here. 686,000 liters. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. Let's get it dumped out. Should take about yeah, 0.5 seconds as it was 
figured out. I think it's at 1 million liters per second or something like that is the unload speed. It's pretty crazy. Now, we've still got, if you can see across the screen, that whole field left to do. So we have a lot more to go still. But remember, that's all just for making money. All we do is literally just mow that up, pick up the grass, make some silage, go home, do it again, maybe. Uh, you know, I should probably go ahead and check all these animals real quick. They should be good. I think we can do all right. But wait, you know what? We'll just double check and see. How about that? Okay, so after a few days, we did feed them on January 1st. Uh, they are looking good so far. So it looks like we're going to get about six-ish months, maybe seven months worth of food total, depending on how much they eat in the summertime. Milk's good. Straw is good. Slurry's good. Everybody is good. So I think we're okay doing it this way for now. We'll try and see how long it takes or anything like that. Also, we are kind of coming up on the end of, uh, well, it's the video series season two, but it's kind of, what's well, it's episode 19, isn't it? We've got one more episode and then we're done with the second season in game, if you want to call it that. And we're in our third year. So we need to start thinking how long and how far into this series are we going to go? Are we going to push it? Are we going to do a 40 or 50 episode series? Or maybe are we just going to go with like 25 and say like, you know what, from here, really, it's just smooth sailing. So let's just, let's just call it. Are we going to do that? Or are we going to do it any other way? Let me know which way you would rather do. I think for me personally, going about 25 episodes or so, and then... Maybe doing something else, trying something new, jump in a different map, something like that. I think that might be the best thing to do. That way people aren't getting bored doing the same thing over and over every time. Because eventually, this farm is going to be self-sufficient. All we have to do is work the land every day. So, I want to make sure I'm making the right decisions for you guys. So, let me know what you think those decisions are. Is there something I'm doing you would change? Feel free to let me know. Hey! This is a community effort. It's not just DJ over here. Almost done here. We've got a little bit more and then we'll be completely finished. Again, we're over 1 million liters off of this field, which is great. This is going to bring us quite a bit of money. Um, the unfortunate part is I looked back and I didn't see any money that was accepted from the last time around on here. So I'm not really sure how to make money off of the BGA. And I'm really, really embarrassed to say that out loud. Good thing is, prices coming around, they're not great right now. So it's not like I'm going to sell this anyway. But still, you know, it would be nice. It would be nice. Go in here and take a look real quick. I'm probably going to run into something, whatever. It's fine. So in here, you can see da 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 da, -da all the good stuff. Um, pricing wise and things like that, if we go in here and we find ourselves some silage, that's manure. Do we have silage? Oh yeah, silage is up here, isn't it? Sure is, there we go. All right, so from in here, uh, you can see this is definitely the one right there. Having a hard time seeing what the exact number is there, but our price, price fluctuations are pretty pretty far around, especially when you're talking so many different leaderages. So in January, that seems to be the best. We're still looking around, what was that, 200 $324? So 324 it's still not bad. I'm just not sure it's quite how much I want to make, especially with how much we could make. We probably won't do anything with that, at least this time around. But what I am going to do is go ahead and dump it in here, and we'll get it moving. We'll go ahead and get the silage uh, getting turned in from the grass. Well, that's not going to take very long. Yeah. So there you go. We'll just sit. We'll wait on that to turn into silage. And then that's probably going to be for another day. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today's Let's Play episode number 19 from Comston Farm. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the Go Ham fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss any daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you haven't seen any of the other episodes, maybe this is your first one, or maybe you've seen a couple of them, but you're not really quite sure, I've been keeping a storyline going as far as how things have been progressing. So maybe check out the episode 1 through 10 supercut that we did. Check out episodes 11 through 19 here now. Well, that, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.